Yo, what's good my BGA crew? Welcome back to my channel. So today you guys, as you see here, and as you can tell by the title, Mama Appetite Done did it again. The long awaited egg roll video y'all have been requesting forever is finally here. Right here we have Torito egg rolls. They're yellow pepper stuffed with cheese and shrimp wrapped in bacon. Yo, what's good, my BGA crew? Welcome back to my channel. So today, you guys, as you see here and as you can tell by the title, Mama Appetite done did it again. Yes. Oh my gosh, you guys. You know how much I love Toritos. They're a yellow pepper stuffed with cheese, cream cheese, uh, shrimp, and then they're wrapped in bacon. And they sell them at mariscos, uh, marisco places, marisco restaurants. However, mama did that as an egg roll. What, 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 what? I am so excited right now. Oh my God. Okay, if you guys want to learn how she made this recipe, please head over to my mom's channel, Mama Appetite's Kitchen. I promise you guys are not gonna wanna miss this recipe. It is amazing. Right here we have a jalapeno lemon soy sauce dip or whatever, sauce, whatever you wanna call it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started because I am Stuavin. Heavenly Father, I ask that you bless this amazing meal and the precious hands that prepared it. May you provide for those going without. Heal, bless, protect, and provide for my BGA crew and everyone watching, Lord. In your precious name I pray. Amen. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and dig into this. And we'll. I want to talk to you guys about my um, Disneyland trip and all that. So but let's, let, let's take a couple bites. Oh, my gosh. Look at this, you guys. Oh. I know this is going to be amazing. And then the sauce. This is the typical sauce that comes with the Toritos at a Marisco restaurant. Here we go. Mmm. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my God. You guys, this is fire. Mmm. Mmm. Shut up. Mmm. Oh my God. You guys, if you love Toritos, I promise you, you're going to love this twist on them. A egg roll. Torito egg rolls. Mm. <clears throat> oh, man, that's good. And piping hot. Fresh off the fryer. Oh my God. Mom, whatever would possess you to do something like this. Whatever would possess you to do this. This amazingness. Look at this, guys. Look. Oh, my God. Mmm. 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 That juicy. Look at that. You can see the shrimp in there. Mmm. Come here, baby. Mmm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> ah. This is the best thing I've ever had. Mm. 
All right, all right. I know I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit, but hold on. We still ain't done. Mm. Mm. Wow. These suckers are juicy. Wow. Once again, you guys, you have to make this recipe. Oh my way. Oh my way. This is absolutely fire. I will drop a link to my mom's channel in the description box below. Uh, her channel name is Mama Appetites Kitchen. Mm. You guys do not want to miss out on this recipe, I tell you. You absolutely do not. Mm. <clears throat> that bacon, the shrimp, the cheese. Oh yeah, classic Torito flavor in an egg roll. Mm. Oh my gosh, I need to slow down. I haven't had my mom's egg rolls in so long that I'm literally like on cloud nine right now. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh my God. So, as you guys may know, I just got back from California. And um, I ended up going for my friend's birthday he wanted to uh go to disneyland and i haven't been to disneyland in years you guys it was amazing i vlogged the whole experience and i'm gonna be posting that vlog it's gonna be either like a two-part or maybe three-part vlog just because i have so many hours of footage um but i'm gonna post that on my second channel if you guys are not already following me on bga vlogs formerly known as bga asmr um then go follow me i will drop a link in the description box underneath this video um to my channel my second channel you guys do not want to miss that the disneyland experience is one to remember mm. Mm. So much fun. And I'm glad that I lost 40 pounds already. Um, because I I only fly Southwest. That's just a preference for me. I've flown American Airlines, Frontier. And I didn't care for those, but I've just had such a wonderful experience with Southwest that I'm just now a loyal customer. Mm. And let me tell you, I felt the difference this time around on the plane. Um, the, my last trip before I lost 40 pounds, I, it was just super like tight and reaching the borderline of like, oh, I'm not gonna fit in these seats comfortable comfortable anymore. Yeah. It is amazing what 40 pounds difference is. I got in and out of my seat with ease. It was so, it was, I don't want to say so comfortable, but it was very comfortable compared to past experiences before I lost 40 pounds. Mm. 
I'm not done. Of course, I'm getting back on my healthy lifestyle. I just could not resist Mama's Egg Rolls. I haven't had these in, what, almost a year? And there's no way anyone in their right mind would turn this down. Sorry, I'm so a little fuzzy. <laughs> no one in their right mind would turn this down. Especially how much I love Toritos. The regular Toritos are super... If you guys are uh, on a low-carb and you're watching your carb intake, <clears throat> you don't have to wrap them in the egg roll wrapper. <clears throat> um, just follow all her steps. And instead of um, wrapping them in the um, the egg roll wrapper, mm, and frying them, you guys can put them in the air fryer without the wrapper. And they're super delicious, super low carb, keto friendly, because all it is is a huge yellow pepper stuffed with cream cheese, seasoned shrimp, and cheese. And then they're wrapped in bacon. It's very similar to like an American uh, jalapeno popper, but this is a Mexican style with the flavors and all that. And they're very popular at Marisco restaurant. Mm. Oh my God. So yeah, I had quite a few people ask me, um, like, hey, why didn't you, you know, uh, hang out with Steven and Des? Are you being that you were in California, like you should have? I felt like some some people were a little borderline offended that I, <laughs> that I did it. Not Steven and Des. I'm talking about viewers. I had one girl write in all caps and a bunch of question marks like, why didn't you hang out with him? Like yelling. I'm like, girl, chill. Trust me. I would have loved to hang out with them, hung out with them. But I was invited on this trip as it was my friend's birthday. I was going to get a ho my own hotel and get my rental car. That way I could do what I wanted. However, I thought that was a little bit um, like stepping on their toes because I th this wasn't my trip. It was my friends, my really good friends, my besties, husbands, uh, work. Well, hold on. Work. Why did I say work? Um, birthday trip. But I'm besties with the husband too. So right here, bestie of the birthday boy. They had these shirts made for us. So his was birthday boy. His wife's was wifey of the birthday boy. And then their daughter was daughter of the birthday boy. And then of course me, bestie of the birthday boy. Isn't that cute? So yeah, um, they told me, hey Nate, don't worry about it. You know, uh, the hotel and the car, we're gonna stay at my dad's place. And my dad has two vehicles, so if he goes to work, whatever, we have another vehicle. You know, we have everything scheduled and planned out, so don't worry about anything. And I thought that was super nice. Uh, and literally, everything we did was planned out and scheduled. So I had no time to just kind of venture off on my own and go with, meet up with Steven and Des. So I really couldn't go and film other restaurants and stuff. Um, so the hat, I did the hat and I did Tommy's Burgers because those are places he wanted to go to. So I was like, okay, let me take advantage of eating here since I never filmed it. But the next time I plan a trip, it'll be personal and business. You know, I'll go and film restaurants, but I'll also go in and visit my dear friends. Um, and I want to see their little one. How cute. Baby sushi. Baby sushi roll. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, Disneyland was... There was some pros and cons. 
because Disneyland has changed since the last time I've been there. It's probably been, I don't know, seven, eight years, maybe longer. So I felt, okay, let me start from the beginning. And of course, I'm going to go into detail with everything in the vlog. I actually filmed everything that I'm going to mention right now and more. But just so you guys get a, a little hint of what, what to expect on my vlog. So upon arrival, we get to the parking structure. Um, normally outside the parking structure, you'd be greeted by the Disney uh, little shuttles that take you to the front gate. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. So juicy. These are amazing. My goodness. I can't stop eating these. And... To our surprise, there were no shuttles. So we were instructed by Disney staff and not right away. We just kind of started following the crowd and then we stopped and asked someone and they're like, oh yeah, you have to walk to the gates. There's no shuttles. The walk is about a mile, mile and a half or so it seemed. It is far, 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 far. We were exhausted. By, because it's kind of a, a, a little bit of an uh, incline. And we were exhausted by the time we got to the gate. We're like, wow, we haven't even walked Disneyland. And we're already like, oh my god. Mm. So yeah, um, that sucked. Um, and then once we got inside, like, I just felt like they hired mass, mass. Oh, hold on, hold on. Before I get to that, um, we did, uh, another customer had said that they think they, it's hearsay, but that they think, or that they heard that they, uh, Disney might bring back the shuttles at the end of February, beginning of March. I don't know. But it was a long walk. So once we enter, you know, there was times that we needed assistance, like finding a place or what time was a parade or things like that. And I felt like every staff member we asked knew absolutely nothing of what was going on. They were just there in their bubble, whether sweeping some trash off the floor or just walking by, like... They were in their own bubble. They had no clue what was going on around them. They knew where nothing was in the park. I always heard that Disney took a month or two to really train their staff, you know, to know everything. I just feel like they did probably a massive job fair and just hired everyone and did no training. Because we asked uh, two people about the parade. We got wrong uh times we were waiting for over 40 minutes at the area that the parade was supposed to come the parade never came we asked the guy he said oh the parade uh it should be coming in a little bit you know so we waited longer finally i went back up to that guy i'm like you know what's going on he then pages someone and was like oh well the parade has been canceled i'm like you couldn't page someone when i first asked you 20 minutes ago you know and it, it was just that part of it was kind of crummy, you know? However, however, the rides, the attractments, uh, attractments, attractments? That sounds wrong, but anyway. The rides, the uh, the different worlds that you, you sit, different sections of Disneyland you walk into, that theme is like another world 
the Star Wars, Star Wars world was like you were taken into the movie. It was crazy. The buildings, everything was on theme, everything. Um, the rides were phenomenal, state of the art. The new Star Wars ride, that alone was worth the whole trip. Like, that was amazing. Um, the Space Mountain and then um, the Star Tour that we took. The uh, Indiana Jones ride. I mean, all the rides were spectacular. So fun. However, I do have one downside of the experience. Is that I felt about maybe 70, 60 to 70% of the time we spent at Disneyland Park was spent waiting in lines. The lines to rides, the lines to food, the lines to anything were absurd. Absolutely absurd. And they took away some of the fast passes. I think they have one, but you have to pay extra for every ride you want to cut in front of the, the crowd. Um, but it was just absurd. Rides were 90-minute waits, 80-minute waits. It was crazy, 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 crazy. So, yeah, like I said, 70% of the time we spent in Disneyland was spent standing in some sort of line. 10% was actually getting on the rides. And then the other 20% was like getting food, using the restroom and like walking around and stuff. But be expected to wait in lines, literally, because it is crazy. Um, but aside from that, I mean, everything was fine. <clears throat> the food was mediocre. Uh, some of the stuff was mediocre. Other things like the treats and stuff was super good. Um... Yeah, you'll have to watch the vlog because we ate so many different things that day. And I give you my review on if I liked it or not. And then I actually show you guys what it looks like. I actually recorded on the rides so you guys get to see what these rides look like. Um, and I really, I really hope you guys enjoy the vlogs because I put my heart and soul into it. Like, oh, I just had such, such a good time filming it. But, um... Yeah, like I said, I will drop a link in the description box below to my second channel for you guys to go and subscribe and uh, yeah. Mm. I love the crispy ends. Love them, love them, love them. Mm. All right, you guys, I'm done. I don't even know how many egg rolls I ate. Probably like five. <sighs> Once again, you guys, I'm not playing with you. I ain't playing with you. Y'all gotta bake these egg rolls. Y'all gotta bake them. They're fire. They're delicious. The sauce complements it perfectly. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Please, once again, head over to my mom's channel, Mama Appetite's Kitchen, and watch this uh, recipe. You guys are not going to regret it. It is super delicious. As always, thank you so much to my BGA crew for your love and support. I love you guys. If you're watching and you're new here, I want to invite you to be a part of this amazing family, the BGA crew. So all you got to do is simply hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video or any time that I go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, besitos.